Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the gracious, ever merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. May peace and blessings be upon you all. My name is Anwar Mangla and I will be your host for today's event. In light of the COVID-19 pandemic, our community, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat Canada, has launched a unique national campaign to allow Canadians an opportunity to experience Ramadan while still conforming to the social and physical distancing guidelines set by health authorities. On behalf of MDR Muslim Jamaat, I would like to welcome all of our viewers and panelists today in virtually experiencing Ramadan with us. We always commence our program with the recitation of the Holy Quran. I would like to request Mr. Sayyid Muhammad Suleiman to please recite a portion of the Holy Quran. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu kutiba alaykum Kutiba alaykum usiyamu kama kutiba alaladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. Translation The verses, the verse that has just been recited is from Surah Al-Baqarah verse 184. Now I will present its English translation done by Hazrat Malvi Shir Ali Sahab I seek refuge of Allah from Satan the rejected. In the name of Allah the gracious and ever merciful. O ye who believe, fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, so that you may become righteous. Thank you, Mr. Sayyid Muhammad Suleiman, for the beautiful recitation of the Holy Quran. Prior to this pandemic, Every Ramadan, our community would host various fast with a Muslim events to bring communities together across the country. It was a means to build bridges amongst all communities and was an opportunity for individuals interested in learning about Islam and Ramadan to learn more and experience life as a Muslim. But in this Ramadan, we cannot gather in the mosques to pray and do iftar with our community friends. We have our Imam Mansoor Azim with us who will give us a brief introduction about Islam Ahmadiyyat. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Jazakum Allah salam al jaza. Mangla Sahib, uh, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, as far as the introduction is goes, I will do a very brief introduction of our community. Uh, what we believe in. We are a denomination within the umbrella of Islam and the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is the only Islamic organization to believe that the long-awaited Messiah has come in the person of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadian. And uh, Ahmad Islam, may peace and blessings of God be upon him, he claimed to be the metaphorical second coming of Jesus of Nazareth. And uh, he also claimed to be the divine guide for all humanity whose advent was prophesied not by only the founder of Islam, but also founder of other religions as well. For example, Hindu, uh, Zoroastrians, um, Confucianism, Lao Tzu, 
uh, Guru Nanak for example and uh, other religious uh, founders as well. Uh, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is uh, the leading organization, leading Islamic organization to also categorically reject any form of terrorism. Over a century ago, um, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed of Qadian emphatically declared that an aggressive war or aggressive jihad by the sword has no place in Islam today. And uh, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is also championed the empowerment of education, the empowerment of women and its uh, members are among the most lobbying, educated and most engaged in um, the community services. Uh, even we ourselves, we do the um, highway cleanup for example, we do volunteer services for the city as well and uh, we try to integrate and serve the community as much as possible. Our motto, as, as you know, as many of you would know, our motto is love for all, hatred for none. And uh, we completely follow the hadith of the Holy Prophet Muhammad ﷺ that love of your country is part of your faith. And our faith cannot be completed until and unless we have uh, uh, completed our love for our um, country as well. So the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is the foremost Islamic organization with the um, central spiritual leader, the supreme head, Mirza Ghul, uh, Masroor Ahmed, um, the fifth caliph of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed of Qadian as well. Um, the Lord Minister community knows him. He came in 2016 to inaugurate our mosque, which is situated on the 50th street, the Betul Aman Mosque, just by the rails. And uh, overall, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community has built around 16,000 mosques um, over 16,000 mosques now and uh, over 500 schools and 30 hospitals. Our very recent one was in Guatemala um, and the Ahmadiyya Muslim community has been at the forefront of the worldwide um, disaster relief as well through an independent charitable organization with the name of Humanity First. So that's the very brief introduction of Jamaat uh, Mangla Sahib. Thank you Imam Mansoor Azim. We have received messages from our distinguished guests. Our first message is from Honorable Rosemary Falk. Rosemary is the Federal Member of Parliament for Battleford's Lloyd Minister. It is with great pleasure that I extend my best wishes to Muslims in Lloyd Minster, across Canada and around the world, observing Ramadan. While social distancing guidelines may have disrupted traditional gatherings, it is uplifting to see virtual gatherings like this to help foster connection and to share the Ramadan experience. During this time of fasting, prayer, reflection, and charity, I hope you are encouraged and strengthened. And I wish you all a blessed and peaceful Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak. Thank you, Rosemary. Our next message is from Honorable Colleen Young. Colleen is currently serving as the member of Legislative Assembly of Saskatchewan for the District of Lloydminster. Hi everyone, I'm Colleen Young, your Saskatchewan Party MLA for the constituency of Lloydminster. I want to acknowledge everyone involved for your innovation in hosting this virtual event. I also want to thank the Ahmadiyya Muslim community Lloydminster for your efforts to build greater understanding in our community. The many events, barbecues and fundraisers that have been organized by our Lloydminster Ahmadiyya Muslim community truly makes you a part of our wonderful, caring city. You have done so much to support Lloydminster. Thank you. While this isn't my first Ramadan experience, it is certainly the most unique I've participated in. It's a strong example of your commitment to following the guidelines and restrictions put in place to contain the spread of COVID-19. The past couple of months have been difficult for everyone. This is not how things are supposed to be, especially during Ramadan when people are meant to be together. However, thanks to your efforts, Saskatchewan has reduced the spread of COVID-19. We have flattened the curve we have protected ourselves, our families, our neighbours and our province. We have protected our healthcare workers 
and we ensured our health system was not overwhelmed. Circumstances and restrictions related to social distancing have forced us to get creative. And so, here we are, hosting a virtual Ramadan event. People across Saskatchewan and around the world are finding ways to look out for others and keep their spirits up. This is the kind of thing we have become accustomed to seeing throughout this holy month. In particular, we see this through acts of charity, giving gifts and time to help those in need. We see a renewed focus on contemplation, prayer, family, friendship, and humanity. And we see an incredible, unshakable commitment to fasting and inclusion of others. As we contend with COVID-19, I want to thank you all and all those in healthcare for their commitment. We pray for them. These essential workers are doing what's necessary to mitigate the negative effects of this pandemic. We also pray for the health, safety, and well-being of our families, friends, and frontline workers. As we give thanks for spiritual renewal, we are reminded of our many blessings. There is no doubt this holy month can be challenging, but it is also very rewarding. And after much reflection and spiritual renewal, we celebrate with joy and enthusiasm. I'd like to extend my best wishes to all Muslims. Thank you for your contributions to the city of Lloydminster and province of Saskatchewan. Best wishes for health and happiness to your loved ones and in everything you do. Peace be with you. Eid Mubarak. Thank you, Colleen. Our next message is from Honorable Garth Roswell. Garth is currently serving as the member of the Legislative Assembly of Alberta for the constituency of Vermilion Lloyd Mr. Wainwright. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for inviting me to celebrate Ramadan with you. This year, my message is delivered to you via a unique virtual event, but the warmth of my message is not diminished by that fact. I'd like to wish the Ahmadiyya community of Lloydminster Ramadan Mubarak. Muslims believe that during this period, the gates of heaven are open and the gates of hell are closed, making this a truly blessed time. In addition to the act of fasting, one of the five pillars of Islam, I'm told Muslims also attend special prayer services and engage in enhanced acts of charity. However, this is not unusual in respect to the Ahmadiyya community in Lloydminster. My interactions with the Ahmadiyya have been connected to generous charitable activities that you have organized in the wider Lloydminster community. As I record this message, we are only three days away from the end of Ramadan for 2020 and the start of Eid al-Fitr, the celebration of breaking the fast. Therefore, please let me also take an opportunity to wish you Eid Mubarak. Ma Salama. Thank you very much, Garth. Our next message is from His Worship, Gerald Albers. Gerald is the mayor of city of Lloyd Nister. Peace be with you. Thank you for the invitation from the Ahmadiyya Muslim community of Lloyd Minster to join you. I wish to bring greetings from the city of Lloyd Minster to the local community of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community to Saskatchewan, Alberta and Canada. Thank you for the invitation to join the virtual Ramadan campaign that you've underway. We are in such interesting times, times that no one can describe with the pandemic that has grasped our community, your communities throughout Canada. Your work in our community is very much appreciated from the mosque development that you've created in Lloydminster to the work that you've done to work with other groups and to lead community development projects to aid the greater community of Lloydminster is greatly appreciated. We welcome all faith communities to our city and we thank you for your continued support of our city and efforts and the contribution you've made to our community. The support has been overwhelming. 
and we thank you for that support. We continue to hope that you're able to continue to support us as we get through this pandemic. And you've all heard the message very clear. We thank you for your social distancing and this virtual Ramadan that we're here today for. And as you experience that, we also encourage you to keep your families close, but keep your circles small. Remember all the rules that you've been given. You've heard them many times before from the health officials. And as an elected official, I bring these greetings as well. Because for all, we want to provide a safe community so that we can extend our livelihood as long as we are given that ability. So on behalf of our community, thank you so much. Peace be upon your community. Thank you, Gerald. I would like to request Imam Mansur Azim again to highlight significance of Ramadan. So as I have mentioned this before that Ramadan is the holiest month in Islamic calendar and Muslims fast from dawn to dusk uh, and do not eat anything from uh, uh, during this time. There are a couple of reasons why uh, we fast in this way. Uh, first, definitely is that uh, in our daily schedules, one may not be able to find enough time to divert their attention somewhere else other than eating. As I've mentioned this before, that some have uh, eating disorders. Sometimes uh, we have this uh, stress eating as well. And uh, secondly, it, it has been proven the benefits uh, of uh, intermittent fasting. And uh, it has been proven medically that uh, it, um, it helps the whole body and especially the digestive systems. And uh, thirdly, the main reason behind our fasting in this way is that we all celebrate different days uh, to, uh, to remember different particular events. For example, Mother's Day, for example, Father's Day, Earth Day. And we give special importance to these matters on these particular dates. But Ramadan is celebrated a whole month of fasting. We do not eat anything. We do not um, drink anything during this time to feel the hunger and to feel the experience of the poor, the needy, and the less fortunate. And we believe that one day is not enough for such an important matter. This is why a whole month has been dedicated to feel the pain and hunger. And thus, we collect fitrana, which is the charity during this month. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him of Islam, he used to be more charitable during uh, the month of Ramadan. And um, as you know, I have mentioned this, this whole month is for charity and to take care of the poor and needy and the less fortunate. We initially, we started this um, neighborhood helper campaign, a nationwide campaign where we helped our nation, we helped our neighbors, we helped our uh, local Canadians. Uh, from coast to coast, we have stories of appreciation of uh, neighborhood helper campaign. And uh, these are the works that we do during this month. And we celebrate it as Eid, Eid al-Fitr, after the Ramzan is over, which will be on Sunday, May 24th, um, which is the day after tomorrow, on Sunday, inshallah. And uh, we will experience this Eid in a new manner that I don't remember, I or probably any of you have uh, celebrated this Eid um, in this way ever before. But this will be a new tradition, this will be a new way to celebrate Eid. Uh, traditionally, we used to have uh, um, large gatherings at our mosque, praying Eid namaz, Eid prayer, and uh, celebrating Eid together, uh, giving gifts to each other, visiting each other. But uh, this will, I guess, be a new way to celebrate Eid virtually from our own homes. So that is uh, Ramadan, and that is the significance of Eid and Ramadan. Mangla Sahib, thank you. Thank you, Imam Mansur Azim. Now, thanks to all our viewers. We have our local president, Mr. Afzal Khaja, who will conclude this session with his remarks. Assalamu alaikum, viewers. Thank you, all participants and viewers, for staying with us. May Allah bless you all. It is our tradition that we start our program with the recitation of Holy Quran and we conclude our program with silent prayers. We pray by raising our hands. The participants or viewer can pray in their own way. Join me in silent prayer.
آمین